Yeah, the Tampa Bay debut of a show that premiered on Broadway, I guess, almost 10 years ago now. Um, uh, once the musical, based on a movie that had uh, come out maybe five years before that. I should have had my dates ready <laughs> for this. Um, uh, so um, it's, a, it's a lovely musical uh, um, created um, over on the other side of the pond, but premiered on Broadway. Uh, so it has a bit of the uh, more of the West End sensibility than Broadway sensibility. Um, for instance, in the script that we use, it doesn't call them act one and act two. It calls them the first part and the second part. And it talks about the interval rather than the intermission. So it's, it's been fun for us to use. Anyway, it was developed over there and then it uh, opened up over here almost 10 years ago. Um, it's a really unique method of storytelling. Uh, um, uh, the show is about, uh, about people sharing their themselves, their emotions and themselves through creating music together. Uh, and the people that wrote the movie were actually two people that created musical, uh, music together and felt that. And then they made a movie about that. And now there's a musical about that. And then we get to feel it every night that we rehearse it because we're all musicians playing instruments on stage while we tell the story of falling in love with people as we create music together. <laughs> so it just keeps doing this. <laughs> Uh, that would be uh, the woman that runs 8 o'clock theater, uh, Betsy Bird, knew that I adored this musical. I loved the movie. Uh, when I first saw the movie at home on a DVD many years ago, I turned around and watched it immediately again because I'd never had, I'd never had something express. I'm a musician. I'm a working musician. I have been for 35 years. Uh, I, I never thought I would have something express the thing that I feel when I'm sharing that creation musically with, a, with another musician and we're, we're right there with each other and this movie just totally expressed that i won't talk for too long guys i'll let you in soon <laughs> um and uh and so betsy knew that i love this musical and when she got an email from uh, music theater international the rights company that it was available for um amateur companies to do she emailed me and said you want to do this and i said uh yeah and <laughs> we put it on the schedule and here we are like picking your favorite kid. Um, <laughs> realistically, any of the pieces that have that emotional connection, um, Falling Slowly, obviously like the most recognizable song, but for me, it's the, the opening song, Leave, uh, and then a song that gets played in the bank called Say It To Me Now. Both of those like have this really dramatic emotional arc that you can feel uh, the guy moving through the entire scope of emotion uh, in, in, a, in a very small window. So those both from a musician standpoint, very challenging songs, and then from an emotional standpoint, you get to run the entire gamut very quickly. So I enjoy those a lot. Uh, for me, it actually starts from when I saw the musical when it was touring. I mean, I've seen the movie too. I was in love with the movie, just like Jason. Um, but I saw the tour and they came through by the Strauss Center and I watched it and it's, it's really falling slowly for me. It's probably still the number one. I mean, I love them all. They're all very, um, they're very moving. They're all very moving, but, uh, falling slowly is just one of those ones that you leave the theater and it, like, it kind of haunts you for a while. Like it stays with you, haunts in a good way, not haunts in a bad way. Um, but it stays with you and it, it's so moving and it, it's, it's warm, it's longing, it's loving, but it's also about, you know, real life. So that one, I think, would be my number one. One of the things that makes this particular production unique is that uh, we have uh, 12 actors on stage. Well, 13, if you include our four-year-old Mercer. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> um, uh, I'm smiling because Mercer's my son. Um, uh, they all play multiple instruments throughout the night. There is no pit orchestra. There is no um, musician supporting this show from off stage or anything. Everybody that's in the show, everyone that does the lines, all the characters play instruments. And many of them are playing multiple instruments. And many of them are playing an instrument that they've never played before and have spent the last four weeks learning how to play it for well, their one or two songs. It's really remarkable. I just want to make sure that they, the, um, the viewers know that because it's it's just an incredible thing that these people are doing, including these two right there. I mean, Raw, um, 
definitely real. Uh, gosh. What's initial yeah, question? emotional. It's it's kind of all synonyms of the same thing. The the show, like like we said, nothing really to hide behind, and it is. It kind of details out something that I'm sure on some level everybody's experienced at one point or another. It's those like kind of connections that you can only really acknowledge internally. And this, if you're a musician or an actor or you have friendships from high school that carry like literally anything, those strong connections that, that happen. Uh, and there's not really like a way to describe them because it doesn't really go anywhere. It's kind of flash in the pan and very, very dramatic arc in, in, in kind of tugging on your heartstrings. It's, it details that out in a very intimate way. Uh, so I would say like raw, emotional, intimate, uh, and does it in a very authentic way. It's not fluffed up in the typical way that Broadway shows tend to be. Um, I would I would say a lot of the same synonyms, I suppose. Uh, I would say real is one of the main ones for me. It's real. It is emotional, but it's more real than it is emotional. It's not over the top. It's but it's not subdued. You're not it's not underneath the surface, but it's definitely real. There are parts of it that are raw and it is emotional, but it's not but it's also fun. So I want to throw fun in there. There's a lot of there's a lot of good humor in it. It's not just this like heavy piece of work it's like real life where you have you have troubles but you also have fun and it's what life is there are definitely joyful moments in this show there are times we did a we did a, a full run through last night um as we get prepared to go into tech technical rehearsals uh and there were a couple times when i just i was i'm i sit out and i watch the show you know now that i've said it uh and I just was caught up in the joy a couple of times, just the, you know, when you have 12 people sharing, a, playing and singing together, there's these beautiful songs that Glenn Hansard and, oh, I'm gonna get her name wrong. Can you help me, Andrew? Marquetta. Her, yeah, shoot. Oh, dad, Don't check me, but I can't pronounce it. <laughs> uh, anyway, those, these well, songs. These songs that they wrote, it's okay. These songs that they wrote are really, um, they're good singer songwriters. And so they're rich, they're emotional, they're personal, uh, and they're joyful and they're sad. Um, so those are all, those are all adjectives I would use to describe the show. <laughs> Andrew, I thought Flash in the Pan when you just said that a little bit before. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why they called it Once. I, th I think there's no one on the planet um, mm -hmm. who's had a bit of a life who doesn't have filed away in the back of their head so these a, a connection that they had once mm -hmm. with someone was at some point through something. The theme of this show is that we pass each other and we we join together emotionally and we get something and give something to each other. And then off we go. I think that's the theme of the show. Everyone. Uh, yeah, everyone. <laughs> it's it's um, it's funny. It's smart. It's uh, interesting. It's exciting. Um, you guys go. I'm talking a lot. I feel like I'm talking a lot. <laughs> it's. I think everybody can enjoy it. I think people that go out to a casual gig at the local bar will like it because the music's not. It's not. Um, or it's not heady like you can definitely you feel attached to this music it's not hard to to feel an attachment for it people that love theater and just the fact that we can all kind of do this in a safe way right now it could be fleeting in itself so i mean get out there while you can support support your community while you can i mean come around please <laughs> everyone <laughs> yeah i i bet everyone will have heard the i think didn't Falling Slowly win an Oscar? I think it might have won an Oscar. It was certainly up for an Oscar. Um, uh, so everyone probably will recognize that song when they hear it. Uh, and then there's other just beautiful music being played by local actor musicians who have, who are working hard. They are, they're multiple. How exciting is it to be able to come to a theater and see a group of people 
way I've been saying they're like way out over their skis for this show. Uh, Liz is playing the piano, and although she has some piano skills, as I understand it, and correct you. Uh, yeah, yeah. When I was like ten and eleven, <laughs> right. So that was a while back. A while back. <laughs> <laughs> so she's one of many people who've had to re refine those skills and refine them um, for this production. They're all working really hard and it's exciting to see. My last question is, what do you want people to be talking about on the drive home? I want this to kind of jog their memory so they start talking about that moment in their lives, right? Because it'll certainly prod at a heartstring, like I said, tug at a heartstring, remind them of something, get them to relive a positive memory in their life. And I think a lot of times we, we tend to view these flash in the pan moments in our lives as a negative thing because it, it's over and done with. And it's like, a rather than being sad about it, you know, smile because it happened, don't cry because it's over. And I, I, I would like that to kind of be the forefront of the conversation, but I also want people to be impressed because it's a big deal that these people are playing their instruments. There is no pit. There is a ton of talent on that stage rivaled by no show I've ever been in before. And I've been in shows with these people before. So seeing them step up in a new way and being re-impressed by people that I'm already familiar with is, is a huge deal. So if you're in the local theater scene or you are regulars in, you know, eight o'clock theater seasons and you, you recognize these people, you're going to be re-impressed by them because they're doing something you've never seen them do before. So kind of a combination. I want it to be an emotional ride home and I want it to be a, like a holy smokes, never saw that coming, you know, kind of production. Yeah, I, I would love for people to go home and like reaffirm connection to other people. Like I think we've lost a sense of community over this last year. I mean, rightfully so, but this story is so universal that I think everyone has shared it. So feeling that connection to the story, to the people on stage, to their own life is something that I think is really important right now to bring back in the connection between everybody. Um, so that would be something I would love is just everybody kind of leaving with that sense of like, ah, yeah, I'm part of something bigger than myself. I'm part of this, this whole thing. We're all in this together kind of thing. I'm just excited and thrilled to be a part of this. I, uh, I, I hope that people in our community get a chance to check this out because it is exciting and it's fun and it's joyful and they won't be bored and they'll have something to talk about. Uh, and they'll be supporting local live theater. And hey, that's a great thing to do. Okay, so August 6th is when we open, Friday, August 6th. Then we run to the following Sunday. 15th. 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 We do Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night at 8. And we do Sunday at 2. So we do that for two weekends. Tickets are available at 8 o'clock theater.com. And theater is spelled with an R E. Do you want to be featured on Behind the Curtain? Email Deb Kelly at BehindTheCurtainTampa at gmail.com to schedule your interview.